Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Yudinsky. In other moments in history, we've studied the murky and bloody time period in history known as the Dark Ages, where tribal lords and kings basically jockeyed in a free-for-all to grab the spoils left over by the collapse of the Roman Empire in the 5th century AD. For the next three centuries, historians widely agree that chaos ensued in, in Western Europe. Now, the moment that many historians agree brought about the shift from the Dark Ages to the rise of medieval feudalism was with a figure in Germany who would become the most powerful man on the European landmass at the turn of the 8th century. This was a man who would be crowned as Emperor of the Romans by Pope Leo III on Christmas Day in 800 AD, the King of Germany and de facto first medieval ruler of Europe, Charles the Great, known to us as Charlemagne. Little is known about Charlemagne's life, but we do know he was raised in the nobility of the Frankish kingdom of present-day Germany and France. He was raised in the Christian culture of the post-Roman world as well, and he would be the set heir to the Frankish throne, which he would take in the year 771. He was the consummate warrior king, a ruler who would establish his reign through military conquest, which was a concept that would last the duration of the medieval period. Now, Charlemagne would enjoy great success in conquering a large portion of the European landmass, and simultaneously, he would also stem the surge of Islam from Spain into France. His war against Islam would actually establish the 700-year reconquest of Spain, which is another moment in history for another time. I encourage you to check it out. Charlemagne's kingdom would grow so large it would rival the size of the Western Roman Empire at its height. Now, we have to understand, one of the core tenets and the mystique of the post-Roman Europe throughout its history is that Europe has, to a degree, always desired a return to what's known as the glory of Rome. The Roman Empire is often romanticized, pun intended, and it was the case as such at the end of the 8th century AD. So in an effort to revive the power of the Roman Empire, Pope Leo III, with his holy seat in the very imperial city itself, made a maneuver that was equally political as it was religious. On Christmas Day in the year 800 AD, exactly eight centuries after the birth of Christ, the Pope crowned King Charlemagne as Imperator Romanus, which means Emperor of the Romans in Latin. In theory, the Western Empire had been reborn with Charles the Great as its new Augustus. Now, in truth, the Roman Empire was not reborn, but rather a new empire began, and this empire, centered around Germany and the Papal States, would be known as the Holy Roman Empire, and it would become perhaps the most powerful and important kingdom in Christian medieval Europe. The truth is, the Holy Roman Empire was never stronger than in its first 14 years under the rule of Charlemagne, who established his power from the Atlantic Ocean in the west to the Baltic region of Eastern Europe. He would rule in an itinerant court, often moving from place to place throughout the empire, from 800 until his death in 814, having established the criteria for the prototypical medieval European warrior king. Thanks so much for joining me once again for a moment in history.